By the end of this short video, I want to show you how you can create middleware using the Fast API framework. Uh, so what I've got, I have a very simple Hello World endpoint here. My API is already running, and I'm going to be using this command here. I'm going to head to my README for a second. I'm using this request. So I'm curling my endpoint here, which is Hello World, and I'm sending dash H here, which means I'm sending this header along with my request. So if I put this into here, I see I get hello world back and that's because I have this hello world endpoint here and all this is doing is simply saying hello world endpoint called, printing the response and then returning hello world. This is pretty irrelevant for the time being, I've just put this here to show you how you can use middleware to basically sit in front of this endpoint. If I flick over to the Python terminal, you can see it's saying hello world endpoint called and you can see the response object being printed here. First of all, what is middleware actually doing? Well, if you imagine we send a request and the request is going to go to the app, rather than the app like directing it through to the endpoint, so suppose, for example, we're using this one here, I use curl, curl's going to fast API, it's recognizing that I'm doing dash hello world, therefore it's activating this endpoint. The whole point of middleware is to basically sit in the middle and do something. This can do a whole number of things, but the point of this video is to show you how you can do some simple authentication by looking at what's in the header, in this case, this guy here, and choosing whether to let the request through, so go into this, or to give it some kind of response back and not allow it through. So in practice, you might use something like Auth0, which I'm gonna do in a future video. So you could use Auth0 to validate what's inside the request, check it with Auth0. If it's good, let them through. If not, kick them back out again. So to show you the setup real quick, this is my endpoint here and main.py contains my actual application. So this is my app. And all I've done is basically imported my router. So check out where this is, myapp.roots.helloworld. That's this guy. I've said import router as hello router. The router is this, and I've basically attached this to that router. And then when it's imported, all we do is do app.include router to add it to the application. Um, we finally create the application, and then we're good to go. So let me quickly kill the app, restart the app, Good to go. Let's go ahead and call this endpoint again. We can see it in the app here and it's all happy. So right now we're going straight to the app, straight to the endpoint. There is no middleware in the way at all. Now there's a number of ways upon which you can do the middleware. If it's a fairly complex way you're doing it, you might choose to put it in its own file, which I'd normally do, uh, import it into here and then it can all work just fine. To show you from the simplest, most straightforward point of view, I'm going to define my middleware right here. So I'm going to basically attach it to the fast API application. And if you're just wanting to get going, this is what I would do like for the first time. I would kind of do it in here, get the hang of it. And then when you're happy, I would then move it elsewhere in your program. So the first thing I need to do is import a couple of extra bits. So from fast API, we're going to bring in request and we're going to bring in response. We're going to be using this inside our middleware function. And I'm going to define my middleware down here. There we go, middle, middleware, okay. I'll make a bit of space. And because I've got reload activated, if I just quickly pause this again and run it, because I've done dash dash reload here, every time I hit save in this, fast API is gonna reload and it's gonna be good to go. And I'm gonna define an async function here. So if I do async def, and let's call this my middleware. There we go, just like that. And this is gonna take two different things. So if I do request, and then say this is of type request, we then want to pass in something called call next here. Now these will be explained in just a second when I add the decorator. But let's just do a um, quick thing to say some middleware to check the header. Okay, uh, now that's done, this might fail. I don't know, let's see if fast API is happy. Okay, it hasn't quite noticed this yet, <laughs> that's okay. Um, what we need to do is decorate this. And when we decorate this, it basically makes these make sense. And the way we do that is we do at app.middleware. I'm gonna put in HTTP. This needs to be here for the time being. So let's do that, do some dots in there. And basically what's gonna happen now is the actual request I send, so if I go back here a second, this is the request coming in. 
and of course it's got this header here. This is what this is. So the request coming in is of type request and this call next is effectively where the request is going to go next should this allow it to. So we can do some logic in here to basically say, yeah, you're fine. You can go off and call your actual endpoint. So dash hello world, or we can stop you in your tracks. So before we do any actual checking, uh, let's say the following. I will do response is equal to await call next and then request here. And we can then do return response like this. So at the moment, this middleware is like, it's not doing anything. It's basically saying, take the request. This call next is basically allowing the original request to go on and do its thing. And then we're just returning it here. So if I go ahead and actually call that, we get hello world. So right now this is doing nothing, but we can see it's passing through. In fact, um, there we go. Let's try that. Go to here. See how it prints here and then hello world endpoint. That's because it's calling this first, therefore printing this. This is allowing the actual request to go off and call its final endpoint, which is this. And that's why we see this printed in the console as well. So what we might choose to do is to examine this and basically do this conditionally. Um, let's do here and then maybe let's do request. Uh, let's do dot headers. Let's just print them all. So request dot headers and let's go back here for a minute and do this again. Back to this and check out what we have now. Here's our headers and see how we have user James. That's because when I did my curl dash H, I've basically said include this as one of the headers. So let's do dot get and let's do user like that. Back in here, that's restarted fine. We can do our curl again, back to Python. And there we go, look at that. So this is where it can get pretty simple, pretty straightforward, right? We know that we can access a string by doing this. Uh, why don't we do the following? Why don't we say if this is equal to James, only then do we do this here. Now let's head back to this guy, do this. We get hello world, that's allowed to pass. Um, now let's do it again and change this. Let's do, there we go. And that's errored out because it's come down to here and like nothing's happened. Uh, we need to do something here. We need to return something back. And that's why I did this guy here. So if we just did, uh, let's see, return response like this here. If we did status code equals, so generally you do a 403 for forbidden or not allowed. Uh, let's try that again. Okay. I see that. It returned a 403 forbidden, basically because it checked the headers up here, didn't like it. So therefore we returned a response of 403. You can even do, um, that as well. So we pass this in up front, this should return it to the call. So if I do clear again, try this. There you go, look at that, not allowed. Well, actually what you might want to do is a little dash in here as well. Not allowed, but if the correct header is passed in, so let's try just like that. There we go, pretty simple. And in a nutshell, that is how you do some super basic, really simple middleware. So just to recap one more time, we define some middleware here. This has to be async because this is actually going off and calling another endpoint. So just something to bear in mind, make sure it's async def and the call to call next has an await before it. So it receives the raw request, it receives call next. And all we want to do is say, check the headers. In this case, look for user in the header. If the value for that header has a specific value, then yeah, no problem. Go off, be on your way, go and call your endpoint you were born to do. Um, however, if not, we're going to be jumping down to here. We're going to be returning the string not allowed to the user along with a status code of 403. So really simple, really basic. Let's move this all back up and include it here. Uh, if I was doing this for real, kind of fit in my own app, I'd probably bury this in some kind of utilities file. But if you just want a really simple, really kind of clear cut way of doing some middleware, yeah, that's how you do it. But yeah, guys, hope that was helpful. In future, I will be doing an Auth0 take on this to show how you can register a whole app with Auth0 and then use the checking of Auth0 as your middleware. Cheers for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video.